Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. So today we are back on the boat again. I'm going to be working on covering up this hole here. So I was hoping online or in the Catalina group I could find another one of these. But I could not. Nobody had one yet. I'm going to keep looking. So for right now I found online this. A little cover. Sea choice. And it's the holes for the screws actually line up already so that's cool so I'm gonna get this cleaned up and then I'll get that on there and then up here I'm probably gonna take this butyl tape off and we'll just epoxy those holes in for right now so I'm gonna get to cleaning this up and we'll be back and then I'll show you what we're gonna do to get it all covered up All right, so I got that all cleaned up. So next we're going to get the plate here from Seaflow. And we'll figure out how we're going to do it here. And then we'll get it all butyl taped up and screwed on eventually. But first I think I'm going to mix up some epoxy and thicken it. And just put it in these screw holes down here for now that will be underneath that cover so that they're waterproof eventually probably next year or the year after I'm gonna end up having to do all these cracks and stuff and repaint the outer part of the deck and stuff but for right now I'm just trying to get everything waterproof and get us out on the lake so I'm gonna go mix up some epoxy I think well, no, I'm going to go get the Dremel so I can sand these out a little bit first. Then I'll mix up some epoxy and we'll get them filled. Alright, so I got them sanded a little bit. So next, what I have to do, I found out this one actually has a broke screw in it, so I drilled it down a little ways hopefully the epoxy will be able to just so next I'm gonna make some thickened epoxy I know it's not gonna be it's just clear but oh well I'm gonna put some right there some right there and then in these four little holes here and we'll let that harden up and then we'll come over and sand it and then we'll have to probably use some fairing compound but the big thing is I just want to get them so no water gets into the core so I'm not looking for pretty I always say you can either build it Beverly Hills or Beverly Hillbillies I like to try to go somewhere in between so <clears throat> I'm gonna go down in the garage and we'll head on over to the epoxy and get it mixed up all right we are back so I'm going to be using this Total Boat Medium Hardener High Performance 2 to 1 Epoxy with some West Systems 406 Colloidal Silica to thicken it up. So we're probably only going to use one squirt of each. Well, let's do two squirts of each just to make sure. No, only one. We're really not making that much. It's just two or three little holes. So we'll go one and we'll come over here and we'll go one all right and then i gotta add some of this in i can't do this with one hand and it's time limited so i'll be back once i get it all done and mixed up all right i'm back and we have it all mixed up and we have the consistency we want we want it to be like peanut butter so i'm gonna head on up to the boat all right, so we're back up on the boat. So I'm just gonna get some on the mixing stick here and basically just fill in the hole as best I can. And then you wanna make it level. We'll end up taking the excess off when we're done. But you wanna make sure you keep pushing it into the hole so you get it filled. So I'm going to get these all done and 
then we'll be back probably tomorrow morning and we'll get it sanded and some fairing compound and then we'll put on the plate all right everybody we are back so i had to push up my timetable i didn't i'm not gonna wait till tomorrow morning it's this evening but the epoxy is dry it's gonna rain tomorrow so i want to get this plate in so we don't have any leaks so all i gotta do is pre-drill the holes for this plate i'd like to fill them in with epoxy but with it gonna rain tomorrow i'm not gonna so i'm gonna get the holes drilled and i'll be back all right i have the new holes drilled so next I'm going to butyl tape the plate and I'll get it screwed on. Good old butyl. All right, so we have the butyl tape up here. So next, to get the plate screwed in. All right, so we have it all on. All I got to do is get it cleaned up. I do wish it had four more screws though so it could push down the lip there a little better anyway I'm gonna get all this butyl tape around it cleaned up and I'll be good to go just as the Sun goes down on the homestead nice and foggy over there so if you guys have any questions about how I did this leave them in the comments below hit that like button and subscribe it helps us out and if you guys would like to check out our patron in the comments or in the description below I'll see you guys later